At Swift Institute, an endoscopic microdiscectomy is a minimally invasive procedure used to relieve pain and weakness caused by a herniated or rupture disc, which uses an endoscope for visualization. The herniated disc presses against nerve roots, which causes shooting pain down one or both legs, often referred to as sciatica. Using fluoroscopy, a special type of X-ray, the level of the injured disc is located along the spine. A small incision, less than 10 millimeters, is made on the patient's lower back directly over the disc space. To access the disc, a set of tubular dilators is passed down to the spine, splitting the overlying muscles. At Swift Institute, we use a custom retractor that expands after the dilators are removed to allow for the passage of specialized instruments. An endoscope, a small camera attached to a flexible tube, is passed through the retractor and transmits video of the surgical field during the procedure. This approach allows minimal disruption to the surrounding tissue and provides optimal visualization. A microdrill is inserted into the retractor and a tiny amount of the lamina, the bone structure that protects the spinal nerve roots, is removed to create a window to expose the spinal canal. This is called a laminotomy. The pinched nerve root is gently retracted to allow access to the injured disc. Using micro-instruments, the damaged portion of the disc is removed while the healthy portion is left intact and functions to cushion the vertebrae. Partial disc removal, or discectomy, is a necessary procedure to alleviate nerve compression and return the nerve root to a healthy position. The small wound is closed with absorbable sutures and a tiny dressing applied. At Swift Institute, this procedure is performed as an outpatient procedure.